Welcome everybody. This is the time to celebrate. So everybody dance now, right? Here, come and join in. We're celebrating because you know the Dems gave up. I know they gave a lame excuse, but the impeachment is now over officially which I told everybody that was not going to happen because God was not going to allow that. So, we're here tonight, here at Studio OQ1, in the new and in the know. And so I have quite a few things to share with you. It's been a while since I've been here. I love, love, love our new studio. And I told you, there was no telling what time I'd be sitting behind this desk, right? So we have a lot uh, to mention. I've been to California. San Francisco, not San Francisco, no, I'm in there, uh, not since I did like 17 meetings in 18 days, that is another story, but I have been to Santa Maria, the healing rooms, and I've been to Los Angeles, I think Simi Valley, and I went to Kim Clement's pastor's church, Bob Cather's, it was an awesome time, and I've been in like downtown Korea, Koreatown in Hollywood. And so that kept me busy. Those four meetings turned into eight. If you count all the other meetings that were added, but it was powerful. And guess what? I'll be going back to each of those places before the end of this year. So if you missed me uh, in those places, guess what? We're going to come back and uh, come back again because I have a lot more to share. And it was powerful. They had to turn people away. It's been a while since I've been there and uh, that's almost never happened. So yes, we're gonna give you a second chance to come and get revelation from heaven. The lightning power of God, the fire of God imparted into you. Here's some right now, Woo! How about that, there's some fire. Anyway, I'm a little bit tired right now. I'm working hard in our studio and getting ready for uh, quite a few events coming down the calendar. However, I have saved a little bit of time just for me, for me and Jen, to stop and take a little break. But tonight we're here to talk about Trump. Woohoo! I know we all love Trump, don't we? Uh, probably not the fake news. And I don't know what they're going to do one day, you know, when he steps down and Pence steps in for eight years. Uh, you've already heard me say this, but Trump will be sitting in the White House for eight years. So if you don't like it, get used to it. The Trump 2020 train is about to start. So keep that on your calendar. Jump on board whenever we have a Trump 2020 uh, broadcast. Because let me tell you, he's getting stronger. He's getting even more popular. I know the liberal news doesn't tell you that. But more and more people are joining his camp because major changes are being made in this country. And not only have we in America noticed that, but many people overseas and in different countries are noticing that our country is getting more free, uh, the economy is increasing, our safety is increasing, the joy of the people is increasing because the people are happy and joyous, right? When justice and righteousness is leading our country. And hopefully it's going to be leading yours too. I'm praying for all of you, Canada, Israel. I know you've got elections pretty soon. And I will actually be in Israel when the vote is put forth for Netanyahu. I'm so excited about that in April. I will be in Israel for like 10 or 12 days. I don't remember exactly, but I'll be going over there with Elijah list. It's going to be powerful that I get to go on the Mount of Olives, the, the Sea of Galilee, the upper room, the garden tomb, and uh, many other places. I'll be actually speaking in those places. So it's going to be really amazing. If you already joined up for that tour, I'll be glad to see you there. And uh, like I said, get your Kanishas ready. Okay. And your baklava is going to be amazing. And I will actually, we just added a, a new event. I might as well mention it right now. I think it's March 31st. Is that correct? And that will be at the, in Orlando. What? It's at one accord. It's at <laughs> it's one accord. Just say it, Jen. At this time, and just say it. One Accord Ministries in Orlando, Florida. I will be speaking on the 31st of March this month. I really didn't expect to have any events to speak at because we've had so much to catch up on. Trust me. We have a lot going on here. 
at uh, at one quest and for those who don't know i am the ceo and president of one quest international that we reveal and create heaven on earth and of course we have many other staff here that we couldn't do we couldn't do this without them i'm certainly not one person i'm not a lone ranger stuck out there by myself i still be sharing something to the same person in some airport that i probably would have gone to a long time ago so we have a lot of fun together we're going to have more fun because you know what we need to laugh if we need to laugh you certainly need to laugh and in this day you're going to get a lot of laughter some of the things we're going to be doing right here from uh studio oq um, but one thing i do want to mention is that we have got a product that we actually had this product people go why are we not products because we're a business we are business a heaven-based business and our job according to heaven is to reveal heaven to the earth and then create heaven and put it in the marketplace and this is one cup we had a very long time ago it's just my book cover um, from my first book cover revealing heaven there it is right there it's amazing and this is a, a wonderful insulated tumbler right i think that's what they call it and uh, this we had this for quite a while then we we you know we just discontinued it but we are redesigning this cup right here we're going to put it back in the marketplace so we we actually had a little question for you if you want to answer it for us this is a 16 ounce what does that have to do with heaven everything this is heaven on the face of this okay this is the wing of the living creature and this mentioned in revelation 4 and we would like to know do you want a 16 ounce cup or a 20 ounce cup uh there's a big uh, you know there's a big discussion about that right here in our own offices about what we want to do but what would you like to see happen okay this holds hot or cold and it certainly makes a statement doesn't it there's heaven right there and jen has a question what is it jen? i was just going to say we're going to do a poll okay we're so gonna they, do a poll. Can, they can um, vote on the poll whether they want a 16 ounce tumbler cup or 20 ounce okay you heard that right right from the peanut gallery over there we're going to do a poll right here on this broadcast and you may answer that poll if you want 16 ounce or if you want 20 ounce in this amazing image from heaven on this cup that we'll put in the marketplace it'll be seen wherever you wherever you purchase it and take it with you uh that people will ask questions boy this will start a conversation the the wing with all the eyes in it right what is that well that's in the bible didn't you know that didn't you know they have creatures in heaven stranger and more amazing than they have on this earth so this is something that we're actually working on right now that's why we're asking you this is not something that's going to happen a year from now we are ready to order this except for the size of the cup so let us know what you think out there and so we look forward to hearing your answers on that another thing that we've got that if i can find it <laughs> Jen, i found it you flipped it upside down <laughs> aren't you glad i have other people here because let me tell you they help keep this going and um and i had it upside down so thank you holy spirit for telling me to please turn it right side up this is one of our newest products not a lot of people have seen it yet and it's one of the holy spirit's most famous quotes since i've been doing this since i've been doing uh revealing heaven talking about heaven visiting heaven this is one of the greatest quotes he's ever had is to roll up your rapture rug because it is not time for the end to come there's too much left for us to do that the father has to do the lord has to do the holy spirit's waiting to pour out the spirit on all flesh right Jesus Christ wants us to be willing and the day of his power to stand up and manifest for him. And God has got to pour out his love and the wealth of the wicked to the just and the righteous. So those three things right there would make you understand that the very end day is not here. The end is not yet. Therefore, do not sit on the rapture rug. It probably belong to your great, 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 great grandmother. Get up, roll it up, stick it in the closet and you rule. With jesus christ so here's what we've made this is really a lot of fun right here and as you can see it says roll up your rapture rug and rule that means it's not time to sit in the rapture rug waiting for jesus christ to show up and rescue you 
And I have been told by heaven that the rapture will not be a rescue party. It will be a celebration of the world knowing us as the body of Christ by our love for each other, that we are over the weather, not under the weather, that we cast out demons, crush the darkness, push it back, command heaven's army, walk on air while we're walking on the water, or do it separately. So we have got many things left in our lives down here to do that have never been done before on the earth. And so this is a cool, this is a car magnet that goes on your car outside. Okay, not on the plastic parts. Yes, I know. At one time, I remember when the whole car was metal. Right now, you've got to find it or look for it. But wherever you find it, here you go. We've tested these. We've had other ones. We have Wonder Women. We have the, um, not the Dread Champions. We have the Host Initiative. We have the weather warriors. We all have them in this size, uh, different shapes, but magnets. And they've been on there. One of them has been on there, about, I think, about a year. So they hold up well to the weather. This makes such a statement. We've already had people walk by in the parking lot, and they stand there and read it, and they go, yes. And obviously, it's a Baptist, possibly, because they know that there is a rapture up one day. But they also know that we are supposed to rule and reign with Jesus Christ. So make a really big statement. They're, we're putting these on our website, finally. I think all of our magnets are going on there. We have mugs that we sell with Wonder Women logos on them. We have a lot of new products we're going to be putting out there. And this is one of my favorites because of the statement, roll up your rapture rug and rule. And that'll make people think about it. Won't they? They're going to wonder, what are those Christians up to? Well, they're going to find out if they keep listening. So thank you for coming tonight. Um, I do want to mention a few things about Trump, that he is beside himself excited because he got to veto something. You know, I knew he was just waiting to put the, you know, put the hammer down to veto something that the liberals were trying to make a law. And that law made no sense whatsoever, okay? A, a regulation, whatever you want to call it, it did not make sense to open our borders up to everybody. Now, if those people who voted for that want that, we could put them somewhere and let them open their own home to uh, have anybody out there in the cosmos, okay, or on this earth, just move on in. We don't care who you are. We're not going to require any information for you. Just come in. We're going to welcome you in. We have no borders here. We would have no country. So I think that was a wise thing for Trump to veto that bill. So let's give him a hand. woo -hoo! Good for our president. He gets a brownie. I might send him some. So anyway, he's vetoed the bill, and now we can go forward and fund that wall. I can tell you what, it's going to make the enemy fall when they come to the wall. I'm really excited about that. I know, you know, I'm tired. They're like, why are you making those lame statements? Because I'm trying to keep the conversation going, all right? And so, uh, yes, we're going to have a wall. It will not interfere with Trump being reelected or not being elected. I can tell you from heaven that he will be reelected in 2020. So thank you, Trump. Here he is right here. He's happy. He got to veto something. And he's happy that they dumped the whole impeachment thing. That didn't last long, did it? Save them some money. And so uh, I'm, I'm really happy to be here. And the more I find out about him, you know, I do know some personal things about him. I'm not going to tell on him right now. But I do happen to know that um, he does like sweets, but he tries to eat right sometimes. You know, it's okay to splurge every now and then when you've had a victory. So expect him to splurge. Um, because he's had two victories, actually. And so we ought to get a little bored to keep track with him over here. However, can we have one for the fail, you know? You know, the whole, at the bowling alley, when they have the dance cam, and you don't do so well, they go, dance fail. We need to have Dems fail. I would like to put that up there and keep track of that. That would be a lot of fun. What do you think about that? You can give your comments on that, too. Uh, we are open to comments here at Studio OQ1. And we have a lot of fun things coming up for you. Yes, we're going to have another Q&A session really soon. And the podcast, we're going to start them weekly. We want to have a broadcast, many different ones, not just one a week. As long as I'm here, um, I'm back here in the office um, a little bit more often, maybe. 
I'm thinking we're we'll be have, able to do more things. We're yes. going to have guests sometimes on the podcast. Oh, we are going to have guests. Uh, sometimes I'll be a mystery guest. Sometimes you may never know them or know anything about them, but they're going to be funny. They're going to be funny, or maybe we'll get RJ up here sometime, you know. I don't know if we want to do that or not, but I'm sure there's a lot of people that like to hear his opinion on things. Uh, we are going to have my mama. My mom will be back up here. She's going to give her comments on some things, too. Uh, she's always a favorite when we put her on the our Revelation Report show. And so look forward to a lot of fun. We're not going to be normal. You know, I wake up every day and go, I am not normal, and I don't want to be normal. You should say that I am not normal. I am supernatural. That's who you are. You are not on the bottom. You are on the top. You are not created by hands you were birthed from god himself adam was the first one made from this earth and then his little spirit man breathed into his being and he became a living soul by the way what's in your layers make sure you're keeping your layers of your soul clean of the world you know uh, don't don't uh, agree with profanity profanity is hell's language you don't want to speak that do you and so make sure you're giving life and hope for people this is the time to have a future, not wonder if there is one. It's going to be one of the greatest futures ever lived out on this earth over the next several generations. It's going to be powerful to be alive, especially a believer. You're going to hear about more miraculous things happening, a lot of cures over the next couple of years. This is a prophetic word from God. There will be several cures in the next few years that those diseases will never exist on the earth again. That's going to help our life. There's going to be new inventions that will literally help the economy, especially in the area of fuel. You're going to see new fuels develop that are not on the earth right now. They're going to be sent. These ideas are being sent from heaven. Many believers will have these given to them because God will be able to trust them with them. And they won't be, they won't be taking that and using it to make themselves, you know, mega rich. They'll be helping people all over the world with it. So your situation is going to change. Whether you're in America or in other countries, if you're alive on the earth right now, this is God's time to show up and show off in all of those who believe in his son, Jesus Christ. I am working on my script for the movies right now, and that's going to be going forward really soon. And not just the Revelation movie, but some other ones that we're working on also. You're going to hear a lot about heaven all over the place. It is in demand right now in many to be interviewed or movie scripts done, but in many different ways. And you're going to see in apparel, you're going to see in uh, architecture, you're going to also see in home accessories. So get ready for a lot of new things being loosed in this earth. I am personally interested in having some new sweets, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus gave me his sweet tooth, okay? So we can blame him for that. Jesus does like sweets. And so, you know, I try to add some new ones to my little, my little, uh, I don't want to call my mini cash, in my little stash. I like to have a few little sweets, not a lot. Make sure you eat it in moderation, but make sure you do take time to enjoy your life. So I do have a couple other events coming up. In April, I do have uh, Israel. I will have Lamar, Missouri. <clears throat> in May, we have the Weather Warriors. We also have, I think, Canada at the end of May. In June, we will have Heaven's Invitation. In July, we will have the cruise, the British Isles cruise. Um, in August, we're going to have Jeff Jansen right down here in Jacksonville, Florida with us. And we will also have a tour to England. Woohoo! Woohoo! <laughs> yes, and I may learn how to add a bit a little bit more of my, my English accent. However, it doesn't sound so good since we have one here with us, amongst us right now. God is marking England for greatness in this time. It's not going to go down the two people. It's going to be great also. God's going to bring America and England together for many different ventures. Um, there's Korea. Don't forget about Korea. And I cannot read that. <laughs> Do you want to mention who's going to be on our first podcast guest? Our first podcast guest. I'm not sure which one is first. Uh. Is it Todd? 
Yes. I'll just throw it out there right now. We've already had conversations with Todd Bentley, and I told you that we would have some guests, not just here on Studio OQ1, but on our podcast, we're going to have guests probably once a week or so. And um, and <laughs> Derek, is it Derek? Derek Gates. Derek Gates is going to be another one who's coming. And whoever's passing through this area, we're going to grab them, okay? I, I, they, a lot of people owe me a lot of things because I've been on all their stuff and done things with them. So uh, we're going to have a lot of phone in. We may get a hold of Doug Addison. You know, he's wild and crazy. We always like to hear from him. So we're going to start to do this as a regular thing. You're going to have a lot of fun. And there's no telling what these people are yep. going to say. No one will have a script. We will have it. It'll be unscripted. So it's going to be crazy, wild full of the power of God. And so, you know, it's about time you heard some from others who are like thinkers or believers that this is not the last day. We're meeting a lot of them in the leaders of the body of Christ are really tired of talking about the rapture all the time, every single week. Let Jesus work that out when the father says so. We have to be about the father's business. And so we're going to have a lot of different guests speaking about different things about what God has planned for the now time of God. And uh, I always like to let people know, if you hear me make a mistake, this a crazy mistake, like I tell you that Adam put the animals on the ark. No, I'm not, I'm not missing it, okay? I'm just probably a little bit tired. And so whenever I can, I'll do a blooper, a blooper broadcast. We'll catch up on all the things that I may have, you know, not said like, I think I said before, not, not, I didn't talk about Noah or Moses. I said Noses. I made up a whole new character for the Bible, people. And so uh, you can expect those things probably to continue because I'm not a professional. I am interesting. Pink hair looks great, doesn't it? And you're going to get a lot of revelation on heaven itself. What is heaven doing right now? Heaven is celebrating. They're happy too that the impeachment thing was dropped because it would be a lot of wasteful time and wasteful words. They are for Trump, they're for America being great again. God is touching this world. He is shifting governments and shaping nations. You're going to see a lot of changes in this world. So don't plan to leave anytime soon, unless you're just going for a visit. And in this day, that could totally happen. So I thank you for coming and have, be here with us tonight. And remember to make your comments about the size of a cup, 16 ounce or 20 ounce. Either way, it's going to look great sitting on your desk or in your car and make a statement about heaven, right? And I'm going to ask my team if I'm forgetting anything. Is there anything Well, else I just want to let you know the poll um, in the time that you were talking was 70% for the 20 ounce. For the 20 ounce, I knew it. <laughs> so, you know why? And then we there was always one, want the more, then right? There, there was one person that said 44 ounce. So. No, no, we are not doing 40. You know what? We couldn't ship you a 44 ounce cup. You have to remember, you all want the more, but we have to ship the more, right? That means you have to get a bigger package. You know how much room it's going to take up in our inventory over here. I'm sure that our staff would love to come in on Monday and find out they voted on 44 ounces. What is that, a gallon? I don't even know what that is. So it's probably going to go, with the, and I'm trying to think, I think this one might be more of a 20 ounce. Possibly it's a little it might, bit bigger. Yeah. yeah. So this may be about the 20 ounce. This is a 16 ounce. So whatever. We're probably going to do the 20 ounce. I was pretty certain that would probably win. And our CFO, Margaret, also said she does not think this is a, this is not big enough in today's world to have something to drink, right? And so, and I don't drink coffee, but you know, I love hot chocolate. So I guess I won't mind having a bigger tumbler to put my hot chocolate. So uh, I love doing these things like the polls because we know you crazy people out there. You can answer anything we ask you, right? Uh, we're not changing the color of the wall behind us, so don't mention it. The wings aren't coming down unless they fly off the wall themselves, and then I'm sure they'll go right back on the wall. So there are things we are not going to change, but we're open to, you know, some um, opinions being given. And so, and although I hope you don't believe in the flat earth, because I'm getting tired of talking about it. Um, it's round. Just hang on. You won't fly off the planet. We're all here. We're gonna, it's all going to be okay. 
And a couple other things you'll see coming this year for sure is some music CDs. And maybe not what you expected, but we're working on that also. We have a lot of things coming out. And I will enjoy sharing it with you, doing crazy fun things with you. Uh, taking authority over the weather, that's coming up. I'll talk a little bit more probably. Although tomorrow, I am going to talk about St. Patrick, who he really was. What does St. Patrick's Day really mean? What happened back all those many years ago? Did he really know angels? Did he see angels? Did he do the supernatural? What did he do with his life that he was so significant he got his own holiday? And I will tell you this, that he is in heaven and his mansion sits in the biggest field of shamrocks I've ever seen. They're about five foot tall. They worship the Lord also. He is a good friend of Jesus Christ because he gave his life pouring out news of the gospel of Jesus Christ all over Ireland and all out in that area. Those wild Celtic people, he was one of them. So I will enjoy tomorrow talking about it and I will have my green on. I hope you will have yours on too. And I did want to say one more thing. We want to thank Charlotte for something amazing that she sent here. And I, it's definitely one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite creatures. There you go. Is that amazing? Thank you, Charlotte. Everybody give her a hand, okay? Woo Charlotte! That is an amazing lion, isn't it? I love lions and I love the royal guard. That is a tribe of the host of heaven that all look like lions. I'm sure a lot of you have seen lions in the sky where you were looking at the royal guard. And so these are this animal is uh, uh, honored in heaven, and especially the royal guard. They're some of the toughest part of heaven's fighting machine called the host of heaven. So thank you again, Charlotte. I love it. Thank you. It's beautiful. You've got a great gift. And God bless her for sharing that. Amen, everybody. And so I'm probably going to have to go in a few minutes so that I can get some more things ready for tomorrow's broadcast. I'll be back tomorrow, and we can all laugh together. Maybe we'll do a little jig, you know. Make sure you got your green on, all right? I am Irish myself, and so I do enjoy a lot of the, the charm and the blarney that comes along with that whole group of people they got put on the earth. They have all the fun overseas, okay? They have fun in Great Britain. The English are a little bit more staid, although I've met some that are pretty wild. They have a lot of extra layers in their soul. The Scottish, for sure, that would be my husband. Doesn't have a lot of layers, but he's a great fisherman, okay? <laughs> and the Welsh, you know about that wild Welsh revival, one of the greatest on the earth. We'll be talking about that one day, too because we'll be going to the British Isles in July. And I'm gonna come back with a lot of revelation from that place, a lot of pictures. We're gonna, we're gonna start showing some of our pictures we take when we go overseas so that you can have an experience with them too. And of course, some more of the hosts are coming up. And so may God be with you. May the host go with you. One last thing. One thing. We yes. are also going to be possibly working on doing um, live phone-ins. Oh, that'll be wild. People can call in. <laughs> Live so phone ins. We'll keep, you guys, we'll keep you guys updated on that. Where be that nice when you call. <laughs> <laughs> um, we're going to do another poll. So it's coming up in. There you go. <laughs> I'm putting another poll up right there. I don't know what it is because I can't see the screen. I'm on it's the about side the phone of the camera. Ends. Oh, the phone ins. If you want to do phone ins. And the phone-ins will be for questions, I'm sure. Is that correct? Yes. People phoning in yes. and asking questions, which never seem to end. <laughs> it jumped to 100%. Yes. It jumped to 100%. <laughs> okay. Yes, I know you all. You all. Excuse my, my southern. You're momentarily My southern. momentary, you know. We're not growing up down south here. You talk a lot like if I just let it go, my professionalism goes right down the hole somewhere and I will just talk Southern all the time. I am a Southern girl uh, planted from New York. So I'm a Yankee that was put right down here, down South with all these Southern people here and their delicious food. <laughs> the land of the brave, the free and the food. That is America. 
we won't leave God out either. So get ready to have a lot of fun together. Uh, I'm going to stir things up. Let me do I'm going to so stir up hell. All right. We're going to crush the darkness. We're going to push it back. We're going to torment the demonic. It is our right as heirs of Jesus Christ. Join us. Right. And so we're going to have a lot of fun blasting the darkness, blinding the enemy with the light of God in us. And uh, I look forward to seeing you again. And we will check out your polls. Woo! May the host go with you and do great destruction. Go eat something sweet. I'm going to.